In this video, I'll be showing one or more grab look spots for Widowmaker. These are all available in competitive and might help you get some free SR. Some of these spots should be new since I spent hours in custom games experimenting, but some of these are already known. Starting off, we got a watch point to Gibraltar. To get to this spot, we actually need to use two grab looks. First one will be to the upper platform so we can get a closer reach. Then you want to stand in the middle of this line on the platform and you want to aim a couple pixels perpendicular to rock formation. Then you can simply hook and you should attach yourself to the side of the mountain. This is so high up so people coming out of the spawn they never see it coming unless they for some reason look up in the sky. Next up we got Hollywood. This spot is really easy to reach. All you gotta do is simply stand a couple meters right in front of the entrance. Then you simply aim up at the top of the building and you should attach yourself to the top. Next up we got Junker Town. By now everyone should know this easy grab look spot on top of the metal plate, but for attackers this spot only gives you vision of the stairs. Instead if you climb on top of the railing by the side of the bridge and aim your grapple on top of the pillar left side of the air vent, you can balance yourself fairly easily and get a good view of the entire defenders area. On to Route 66, I've actually got two spots for this map, one for attackers and one for defenders. For the defenders side, if you're coming back from spawn, you can line up on the left side of the plant and aim up to the striped Jagger lines on the mountain, then simply hook, press spacebar to release the grapple, and then land between the rock formation and you'll get a good view of the point and high ground. If aimed correctly, you can also land in front of it to get a better view, but also making yourself an easier target. For attackers, I like to line up on the edge of this rock, then aim my grapple between the branches and press spacebar to release the grapple, then simply land between the tree and the rock and get a good view of the defender's high ground. Next up is Numbani and I've got two spots for this map as well. For the last point of the defenders, if you line yourself up on the edge of the spawn, you can hook up onto the corner and get a good view of the payload. Since you can also move around up here, it's going to be very hard to challenge you unless they have a Widowmaker. For the first point of attackers, if you got a hard time dealing with the enemies on high ground since you got no view of them, you can hook up onto the edge of this sign and while having a good cover, freely shoot onto the high ground. Next up, King's Row. First point defender side, instead of standing on the bottom of the high ground where you have no views of the enemies leaving spawn, you can grapple up onto this ledge and have a good view of the enemies leaving spawn. Now keep in mind, if they have a Widowmaker, you're pretty much dead. For the last point of the attackers, you can grapple up onto this meta plate and get a good view of the high ground and point. And if you reduce the graphic quality, this cloth wing will not be showing and you can freely see. For Hanamura, the patched any significant spots to grapple to, but a lot of people don't know that you can grapple above the wall on the first point and kill any attackers on the show. I love using this spot to hit people with a surprise. Next up is Volskaya. The first grapple hook is an insane spawn kill. You want to line up on the light part of the snow, then aim your grapple on the edge of the roof, hook, and release your grapple on the halfway point, then instantly start aiming at their spawn, so you got a chance to charge up your shot. To time it in competitive, hook as soon as the gates open. For the second point, you can hook up onto this pillar and have a good high ground with views the entire point and high ground. Next up we got Temple of Anubis. The only significant spot on this map is for attackers on second point. If you hook up onto this box outside of the point, you'll have a clear view of the enemy platform where the enemies often stand. Next up is Dorado. First off we got an insane spot for attackers on first point, which I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone use yet. You want to position yourself onto the speaker by the stairs, then hook up onto the edge of the building and release. Then you try to land on top of the tiles and you got this insane view over the entire first point. I sound like I'm selling a house or something. Then right out of spawn on first point, this is a pretty hard spot to reach so it's not very conventional. You want to stand on top of the bench then aim your hook on the further part of the tiles, jump hook, then press spacebar to release the hook and hold W to reduce momentum so you don't slide down. If you manage, you get a great view of the entire defender's high ground. Next up is Eichenwald. There weren't that many good spots for this map. For the first one, if you feel like throwing the game, at the enemy spawn you can hook behind the chimney and banish yourself on top of it to then hold your spawn. 
Now the second spot is rarely used but instead of standing on the chandelier on top of the point, there's a chandelier in the back which gives you a lot better cover and distance. Next up is Blizzard World and they've done a good job patching every spot that used to be available. The only thing I can think of is that you can grapple above the point and slide down to get a kill or two. But this one is pretty much a no brainer. Now for Legion Tower. In the enemy spawn on both sides, you can grapple up onto the top of the roof to spawn kill. You can also freely run around up here to make it harder to be hit. So abuse this as long as it's available. Next up is Nepal. If you know the enemies are on high ground above the point, you can grapple and land on top of the satellites where you can stand and get a free view of the entire high ground. I'm on, fire. on the second point of Nepal, if you aim your grapple in the corner of these pillars, you can latch yourself onto the wall and get a free view of the entire point, and this works on both sides of the map. Next up is Oasis. You can grapple above the point on both sides to either hold the spawn or hold the point. Just land in the corner on the top. This is possible from both sides, so you can grapple coming directly from the spawn and hold on the point. On the other map of Oasis, by the cost behind the map, you can grapple and balance yourself on the top of the roof. It gives you a good view of the high ground. Next up is Eloise. In the spawn of each team, you can grapple by the health pack and land on top of the stone to have a good view of the enemy spawn. This one isn't that hard, just remember to release your grapple hook early. Next up is Busan. If you do a short grapple, you can land and banish yourself behind a tree to have a nifty spot to spawn kill the enemies. Keep in mind that your movement is limited when you're scoping in, so to be able to banish yourself, you can't be scoped in. Next up we got Havana, and honestly there was no noticeable grapple look spot for this map. But if you didn't know, you can shoot through the two pillars on the second point to kill people off high ground. And for the last map Rialto, on the second point, if you stand by the edge of the water, you can grapple and land by the edge to have an interesting spot to hold the point. There is also this spot by the water. If you take the boat, you can grapple around the left side of the chimney. Land behind it and banish yourself to view the entire second point, though you're likely to die by falling into the water, so do this on your own advice. But that's gonna be all the spots for this video. Comment down below which one you liked the most, and if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. Then I'll see you guys in the next video. Running, got it acting wild. Coming with a package style. Lights, camera, action, wow. Dragon strike, rip into your type. Hanzo, we get it hype and low. Got the arrow in sight. It's our real Kenzo. Payload, we play it tight. No, we run and get it right. Come on.